guys, it's Dana with Engadget. I'm here with the ThinkPad Tablet 2. This is Lenovo's first Windows 8 tablet. And if you remember, we actually saw an early glimpse of this at Computex. This was the Windows 8 tablet on display, but we didn't know much about the specs then. So today we're here to fill you in on all the on the full spectrum of features. Um, starting over again for people who were not following our Computex coverage closely, this is um, has some has a design that mimics um, your typical ThinkPad laptop. So you've got the soft touch finish here. You've got the metal ThinkPad logo. And on the side here, this is not something we saw when we were at Computex. There is a stowaway pen. So if I flip this little switch here, I can lift up the pen and then lift it out of the device. And then I can press it firmly back in. And you'll see that, of course, that red nub is there is meant to mimic the pointing stick you'll find on a typical ThinkPad laptop. Moving back around to the front, of course, is this beautiful IPS display. It's a 10 inch display with 1366 by 768 resolution, which is pretty typical for what you'll find on any Windows 8 tablet in the market these days. Inside, there's an Intel Atom chip that's um, in, in part because of the chip, the entire tablet is rated for 10 hours of battery life. It's a pretty bold claim for a tablet this thin. This is pretty thin indeed at 9.8 millimeters thick, and it's 1.3 pounds. So for a tablet that fairly lightweight, that's a pretty great claim, the 10 hours of battery life. To give you a quick tour of the device here, you'll see that it's pretty well stocked with ports. So on the bottom, you have a docking connector that allows it to work with both an optional keyboard and an optional dock. You have micro HDMI over here. You've got the volume rocker. You've got your requisite 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Behind door number one over here, you have a SIM slot and also a micro SD slot. And the SIM slot will work mostly with HSPA Plus, but in the US, it will be a, you'll be able to use it with AT&T's LTE network. Power button over here. Of course, that pen I just told you about. Flipping it around over here, you have a full-size USB port underneath that door over there. And then, of course, you've got a 2 megapixel camera up here, and then an 8 megapixel shooter back here. So, this is the tablet itself. We know it's arriving at the same time that Windows 8 is arriving. So that's October 26th. It'll be available at the same time. We don't yet know a price, so we'll just have to check back with you on that. In the meantime, I want to give you just a quick look at the accessories we have here. So I'm going to set this down for a minute. Let's start with the dock. This actually adds a whole lot of functionality. Obviously, this is where you slot it in. That is the male end to the port that I just showed you, that docking connector. And if you walk around the device, you're going to find a grand total of three USB ports, along with an Ethernet jack and also an HDMI connector. And Lenovo especially expects this to be used in the enterprise, which of course is where ThinkPad tablets are targeted anyway. Here we also have a case that was designed specifically for the ThinkPad Tablet 2. Not much to say, I mean it's it's well made, it's this um, sort of faux leather material, um, not much in the way of special features. Last but not least, I want to show you the keyboard that goes with this product. As you can see, it's styled and it's similar to many ThinkPad keyboards in that it has this um, island style keyboard with similarly shaped, uh, sort of almost U-shaped keys here with that curvature on the bottom. Obviously, there's not a real pointing stick like there usually is, it's more of an optical pad here and obviously there's not room for a trackpad, but that makes sense. And you won't find any ports or anything on like that on here, it's really just a keyboard with its appropriate stand. So if you flip that open there and push it all the way back, that's how you will insert the tablet. And we don't know pricing for these accessories yet either, but we will update you on that as we get closer to the shipping date. Thanks everyone.